Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about oxygen shortage in hospital and legal liability on doctors. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Recently there was a message circulated in WhatsApp telling that if there is an oxygen shortage inside the hospital, please do contact an advocate. They will sue the hospital and the doctor for oxygen shortage. Subsequent to this, many doctors became panicky and many of them contacted me to ask what is the legal liability of a doctor if oxygen cylinder or oxygen shortage is there inside the hospital. Let's discuss on this. Regard to the issue of non-availability of an instrument or else oxygen has been dealt very beautifully by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in Jacob Matthew vs. State of Punjab. Let's discuss this case. Mr. X was suffering from terminal cancer. The family had visited many hospitals. All the doctors have clearly said that provide care at home considering that it is a terminal cancer. However, the family members approached Christian Medical College, Ludhiana. There also the doctors clearly said that he is having terminal cancer. Please provide peace and solace at home. However, Mr. X son was very powerful, highly influential, requested CMC hospital staff for admission. With his all his power, finally he got, got his father admitted to the CMC Ludhiana. Of course, the hospital staff took care of him very compassionately. Unfortunately, one evening at 11 pm, Mr. X developed severe respiratory difficulty, which was communicated to the nurse. The nurse called the duty doctor. The duty doctor comes and connects the oxygen cylinder to the patient. Unfortunately, that oxygen cylinder was empty. By the time they brought another oxygen cylinder and connected, approximately 20 to 30 minutes was wasted. With this, family members became extremely angry and registered an FIR under IPC section 304A. Let's understand what is IPC 304A, causing death by negligence. Whoever causes the death of any person by doing any rash or negligent act not amounting to culpable homicide shall be punished with imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to two years with or without fine. With this, the case reached the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court in its judgment categorically said that when the charge of negligence arises out of the failure of some particular use of instrument or non-use of instrument, non-availability of the instrument, the charges would fail. What a beautiful decision taken by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. It clearly said that just because there is no equipment available or the oxygen shortage is there, the doctor should not be harassed. It also said that indiscriminate prosecution of medical professionals for negligence is counterproductive and does no service or good to the society. A landmark judgment according to me. Further, the Supreme Court also recommended a guideline. It clearly said that before arresting a doctor, this needs to be done. If there is a death by negligence, and 304 EIPC has to be pressed. The investigating officer should collect the medical records, take the body into custody, submit to the post-mortem and take an independent opinion from a state medical commission or a council or from the government medical college, opinion has to be taken. If the opinion clearly says that yes, there is a prime facie of medical negligence, then FIR is registered. But again, the doctor should not be arrested routine manner. If there is a doubt the doctor may escape, then only the doctor needs to be arrested. What a landmark judgment done by the uh, Supreme Court of India. And it also said in the last few lines, probably the hospital may be liable for civil law or may not. We are not going to express our uh, opinion in this case. But however clearly said that don't harass the doctor by putting cases on them. So my dear friends, don't get panicky. The Supreme Court has already dealt the issue regarding oxygen cylinders in this case. Thank you very much giving for your valuable time. Stay safe.